Hi, I'm Jonathan M0JSX. Thanks for joining me uh, in another video today. And today's video uh, is all about handheld antennas. Yes, we bought our nice handheld. Maybe you've got yourself, like I have, uh, the ICOM ID52, uh, or maybe some of the ASU FT5, or even something more simple. Let's say, you know, you've got out and bought uh, an AnyTone radio, or dare I say, a bell thing. And that stock rubber duck antenna is just not cutting the mustard. What are you going to do? Here are my recommendations of what I own and what I use on a pretty much week to week basis. But before we get into it, let me just say that if you like this video, please do click that like button. And if you haven't already done so, please click subscribe. Uh, not only does it help me out, but it also gives me a bit of a confidence boost as well. So the first antenna I want to talk about today is actually probably not an upgrade over the stock rubber duck antenna on your handheld. But this is the Diamond SRH805S, which is, as you can see, uh, it is one of those really tiny, almost dummy load-esque devices or antennas. Uh, but this is absolutely perfect for going into a hotspot. So this is my use case for this particular antenna is that uh, I've got um, a couple of uh, MMDVM hotspots. One is a Zomspot, one's one of these sort of cheaper devices that you can pick up from eBay. Uh, and I use this on top of my ID52 if I'm just going into my hotspot. I don't need to be radiating all that far. That just does the trick for me. So yes, that's the bit of a curveball, not an upgrade over your stock antenna, uh, but certainly of use uh, if you're just wanting to keep things local in the shack. Now, they do radiate, that's true. They're not quite a dummy load. Um, I have opened up repeaters a few miles away with this antenna, but certainly if you're looking for distance, this is not the antenna for you. If you are looking for a hotspot uh, friendly antenna, that's definitely the one to go for. Uh, they retail for less than sort of 20 25 pounds um, well worth it you can buy uh, either the diamond version i think nagoya also do one i can't remember the nagoya part number off the top of my head um, i have to have the diamond one it's just what i uh, have here i've got a couple of these um, and of course available in both sma male and female and i think there's also the rh 805 uh, which is the bnc version if you happen to have a radio that has a bnc on it um it works, does the trick very nicely for me. Uh, moving on now to an antenna that is probably as close to the stock antenna on your radio in terms of length as possible, but certainly in my experience outperforms it no end. Uh, this is the Nagoya NA701. Uh, this uh, particular one is the SMA female version, uh, which I usually use on my AnyTone AT. Uh, D878 which um, the stock antenna on that is particularly poor uh, and also particularly rigid as well uh, so this is a, a really handy replacement I'm actually going to get uh, in the very near future the SMA male version of this as well uh, just so I can use it on my ID52 um, and also uh, my Kenwood uh, THF7 the antenna on that the stock antenna is very poor I'm not sure it might just be made out of cheese on the inside for all as well as it works uh, but yeah NA701 these retail for about £20 are available from a few UK dealers uh, as well as from eBay of course if you're buying from eBay though uh, do pay attention to where you're buying from uh, Nagoya uh, is a reputable company but there are an awful lot of fakes clones copies uh, so do make sure you're um, to the best you can make sure you're buying the genuine article uh, if you're paying about 20 pounds for it you're probably getting a, a genuine version uh, if you're paying sort of any less than say 12 or 13 pounds uh, you're probably getting a fake uh, is the only thing i can say but uh, there's no it's really hard to tell the difference so i know this is a, uh, a genuine one because i bought it from a uk dealer uh, but mileage may vary i say this is available in both an sma male and sma female variety um they work really nicely and now we come along to the longer antennas that i happen to have uh, let's start let's start with nagoya again um, so this is the nagoya na70 uh, sorry 775 na775 which i've had for a number of years um i believe this antenna is still made it's still a typical sort of uh 30 centimeter or so long antenna uh, it uh, performs very nicely on 2 meters and 70 cents. Uh, if you're looking for a relatively cheap antenna, uh, this is 
a good option but I have to say this is not my favorite antenna of this length I'm including it here today because it's relatively inexpensive but for similar money I think there are better options out there for instance uh, this is a Moonraker antenna this is the MRW uh, I think it's the 270 there's absolutely no markings on this antenna at all but it's definitely a Moonraker definitely I think it's the MRW 270 off the top of my head uh, now I have two of these in fact um, I uh, bought one um, a, and I'm talking at least 10 years ago now I bought this antenna for use on my FT60 works very very nicely um, and I then bought a second which I then converted to uh, SMA female so I would have one of each I think nowadays you can buy it with the SMA female connector on um, these work really nicely uh, almost um, as good as the antenna we're going to look at last um, but a little bit cheaper so these are say a couple of Moonraker I'm pretty sure the part number is MRW270 if I've got that wrong I will of course put a little card up below me um, which will point out my error I'm sure and the final antenna I'm going to mention today is the diamond SRH771 now I love this antenna uh, this is actually a brand new antenna for me because I lost my first one uh, so I've gone out and, and purchased a second one to replace it I think this is the best bang for buck in terms of that sort of length of antenna that you can get of course it's proper diamond quality as you would expect I mean, we know diamond antenna have been in the game for a very long time uh, I use their V2000 as you would have seen uh, in previous videos which you can find up there uh, how I replaced my V2000 on the roof uh, but this uh, is my antenna of choice for my handheld um, regardless of which handheld also, so I have this is the SMA male version which um, I think is actually the only one they do for the SR H771 I think they do an SRJ I'm not going to get the part number right but so uh, they do a, a sort of similar antenna which is the SMA female version but I don't think it shares the 771 uh, numbering uh, but uh, uh, I always carry this with me if I'm going out and about with say my ID51 sorry my ID52 uh, I'm carrying this antenna with me uh, or if I'm taking out my, my Anytone I'm carrying this antenna with an adapter in order to use it on there and now just a few honourable mentions for antennas that uh, I have but either I don't really recommend or I think there's better options or I simply don't know where to buy them from um, the first one is uh, this now this is an RH770 now this is a, a telescopic um, antenna which is quite long it's probably a metre long uh, there you go that, that kind of gets all in shot um, and I bought this at an amateur radio rally a number of years ago it works very nicely um, it probably works slightly better than the SRH771 but I'll be honest with you only marginally um, I have no idea who makes it it has no makers name on it all it says is RH770 uh, 144 430 megahertz and wideband receive coverage uh, without a maker's name on it there is kind of a logo which I don't recognize at all so um, no idea can't recommend it because I don't know who makes it uh, and also I have no idea where you'd buy it from uh, but I have that works nicely if you can find one that looks the same yeah take a punt I think I paid about 15 pounds for it um, another antenna that works really nicely but um, you can't buy uh, is uh, this now this is the long whip uh, that was supplied with the TYT uh, MD 380 back in the day that uh, single band DMR radio now I had one of these uh, before I broke it that's another story um, but this is a 70 centimeter only antenna it's only for, for um, UHF but I have to say on UHF it works brilliantly um, and easily an upgrade over the sort of shorter um, rubber duck that was supplied with the TYT I say I can't recommend it because you can't buy it on its own but that is a nice antenna if you happen to have a, a TYT MD380 that came with one of these pop it on works nicely uh, and finally a, uh, a Watson antenna now this is the WHXX270 
Um, and I'll be honest, I haven't done any research on this as to whether they're still making this or not. Uh, I use this with the IC705, and it's the only antenna that I found which actually presents a low SWR without a, a counterpoise wire per se on 77s anyway. On two meters, it's a little bit higher SWR, but um, uh, yeah, I. Um, I don't recommend it for your sort of HD because it's a BNC rather than a SMA, but if you've got a BNC antenna, uh, antenna connector, then it might be a good option for you. Um, I say, I don't know whether these are still made or not. Um, I haven't done any research for you because I wasn't really going to include this in my list, uh, but that's uh, another antenna I happen to own and that I do use periodically as well. Uh, that's pretty much uh, my list of uh, antennas. Now, I know some of you are screaming at the screen signal stick i know you are i can hear you um and there's a very good reason that i don't recommend the signal stick it's not because it's not a great antenna because everything i've seen i believe it is um and i know that obviously the bed their production go towards supporting ham study um it's simply that you really can't buy them in the uk um you can i mean that's not quite true you can buy them in the uk you can uh, import them from america uh, should you wish to however the cost of the postage that uh, signal stuff charge is more expensive than the price of the antenna itself um, and that seems to me to be just a little bit of a false economy uh, i don't really want to spend over sort of 30 pounds uh, on an antenna with postage uh, when I can spend half of that and get uh, Diamond SR8771, for instance, uh, is works out for just over half that price. So it's not that I don't recommend the signal stuff, signal stick, and if uh, you really want to spend that amount of money on um, an HD antenna here in the UK, uh, then um, then please go ahead. Uh, and this is my plea uh, to to UK dealers: please import it. I think they would sell really nicely. Um, I don't know uh, why you haven't already, but that's my uh, that's my bit. Please import the signal stuff, signal stick. I will be your first customer. Um, <laughs> that's uh, there we go. Uh, right. If you've enjoyed this video, as I said, please do click that like button. Please also hit that subscribe button as well. And uh, if you're taking part in the IOTA contest this weekend, when this video goes out, uh, best of luck. That I'm not. I'm off to um, Echo India for a few days, uh, not taking any radios with me, uh, so I won't be taking part. But uh, Hopefully I'll see you next time. 73. Bye-bye.